my friend John Burt. John, you've got this really amazing tool here, and you actually made it. Could you explain that to me, please? Uh, this is called Chitaba Jogi, which is uh, something Japanese carpenters make for themselves. I make them out of uh, various woods as an experiment to find out how much the woods actually move once they're dry. And uh, some of the ones I've made are much more stable than others. These, this is made out of old Cuban mahogany, and these are the most stable I've ever made. This uh, is a tool, right? Yeah, what it is is uh, it, it, two, there's two locking pins, dovetail pins go into dovetail mortises, and so when you make the Shantaba Jogi, you cut it out of a piece of wood like this. In other words, and the pieces are adjacent. You rip the board in half and you bookmatch them up, just like you'd bookmatch veneer. And the, what it happens is when you lock it together and store it, the tendency of the wood to bow one way is counteracted by the other piece, which bows the other way. So it's a balanced construction. But what it is is it's basically a straight edge and something to check it against. So what you do is you offer the the beveled edges, you can see the top edges are beveled, you put them against each other and you look, you sight between them to see if there's any line of light. The line of light is about a thousandth of an inch. If no light comes through, then you know it's accurate. So you can run a hand plane over there and true it up, is that? You can use a hand plane, uh, you could use um, an ab abrasives on a uh, granite surface plate. Um, Any way to, I mean, you want to remove very small increments of wood. So, this is an ancient tool, though, isn't it? Yeah. And, and yeah, this... this is just a particular style of them I make. You don't have to make them with dovetail pins. You can just take the piece of wood and, and just drill a, a dowel hole, glue the dowel in one side and the other. Right. The main thing is that when they're stored, they're stored together. You told me another thing, aspect about this that um, it also shows the coloration variances on the wood that's exposed to the light and the inside that is protected from light so you can see the differences in the color changes. Yeah, um, by using, by making Shitaba Jogi out of different woods you can find out how stable they are, how well they machine up, um, what the color, whether the color bleaches or gets darker uh, over time. Uh, so it's sort of a, for me, it's a test apparatus for dealing with species that I don't have information about or, or aren't listed in the books. Wow. You, you like a lot of the Japanese tools, don't you? I like the way they perform. I, I see up here behind you, you've got a lot of Japanese planes, and then you've got a lot of standard body metal planes. Do you have any preferences? Uh, it all depends on the level of work you're doing. Um, I use the metal planes on uh, woods that have a lot of glue squeeze out or things like that. If I'm doing finishing work, I use the Japanese planes for the final finish. Uh, how many of these Jitaba Jogis? Shitaba Jogi means two-piece wood ruler. Shitaba Jogi. Wow. How many of these have you made? Probably maybe 20. 20? All, all out of different species. I know because you gave me one. And yeah. I, I'm quite proud of it actually. I've explained it to well, a few people, but your explanation has, makes a whole lot more sense than mine it, does. Has it served you? I have actually used it as okay. a straight edge, and it's more of a showpiece than anything else. But um, well, they are they are functional tools. They are, but it's also a very interesting story. Well, here you can make this yourself. Uh, or you can spend several hundred dollars buying a Starrett machinist straight edge that's been lapped and polished. The problem is if you drop this machinist straight edge, it's bent. With this, even if it starts raining outside and swells up, you still have an ability to check and make sure it's straight. Oh, thank you. That's pretty cool stuff.